Hey everyone, Son of Beast and Terry Crews here. This is NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs 24 on EA Sports. Hi everybody, it's Test 2 and I am here with some other guys you may know for. It's because I have another one to take. And this is what the moment is being bringing. With light bulb. That's right. A little bit of a game crowd at the moment right now as we're ready to have a next game matchup. Now at game three in Dallas for the Western Conference Finals, it's about to happen. The great games in between the Canucks against the Stars. That's our next matchup and we're ready to send you down to Dallas, Texas. Now this is part of a game. Both teams are tied up with one. We'll find out who will have the lead off with their next victory of the goal. And we'll see how this one comes in. Keep an eye on it. And in the meantime, time for our next commentaries. I have a set of beats along with Terry Crews and Meatbone. And the special guest is the Lamb. Well, I guess he will be here. And Santa Rice joining up here is Boomer. The great way that happens right now, I think it's going to be amazing. On so let's hope they're going to be best of anything. So in the meantime, let's get right into work. We'll see you all later for the post game show right after this. Let's get going. Good evening, everyone. We are at Dallas. It's game three as both teams ready to make the match at Dallas of the Stars against the Canucks. And along with me, along with Terry and me, Bo, this has been a presentation to get this thing for Eastern Conference. But now, we're ready for a Western Conference of the Finals of the Stanley Cup on EA Sports. Starting from here is Heskinen, he will find again a Harley. Harley goes swinging right towards the boards. Hughes has got the puck, now he finds it over again to Sutter. Sutter finds it again, and Hughes again a Hoglander. Hoglander gets a spill out of it right now, he's back to Heskinen. Rolls over to Hintz. Hintz, loose the puck effort on the blue line. Rebounds that puck, now he's right toward the left wing. The pass is broken up by a Hoglander. Passes up to Hughes. Hughes right towards spreading into the middle is Suter. Suter's shot misses wide. Harley will have a chance out there. Back to Heisman and again to Hintz. Hintz right toward the corner. From in and is gone! seen anything like that big on the chain. It has been one of the best since right now. I mean, you got to give all the credit. Duchesne's got that puck. Lost the effort as Mikhaev has got it again back to Friedman. Passes to Boozer. Boozer right in turn on right wing. Pass deflected. Delandria kicks it out. Now Cole will have that puck here and give it again. And it's pass broken by Duchesne. Vancouver with the puck transition. Bowser with the puck. Yes, again to Mikhaev. Mikhaev shot. Choppy up and stopped by Ottinger. Just passing it 18 minute mark in the first period. Gets settled up, ready for the faceoff. Along with me, Terry Cruz and Mipha, my special guest will be Zone Trip of the Lighter. That'll be coming up here for the second period to get this thing started right shortly. After the first period, it will be finished, and we will get to the second period to have a next of, it, of its meeting to show how it is. Takes a kick. What a big smackdown by Jamie Ben. You know, I wasn't always easy enough, but I was saying that Jamie Ben was really like being the captain already for most better teams than not. I just never seen anyone like that doing like that. Ever since then, you've got to play it like when you do it. But Jamie Ben has been like knocking things in there. That's like a crazy impact. 
nothing has been really tranced over by anybody. And when you play it like that, I mean, that's like a hard one to try and make it in. Here's Quinn Hughes. He's right toward the way he finds Carlin. Carlin right toward the middle. Broken up by Hank Capel. Finds Stankoven. Lifts it up in the air right around the net. Vancouver back in the deep offensive zone. Fans here in the Canucks go. The Blooper has that puck. Toward the wing. Takes a hit. Great stop and show with the poke check for Pankapop. The Easter can be a little bit too challenging by them. I wasn't really sure that how could Pankapop try to keep that one over it. And it's just not that always easy enough when you try to do it right away. When that playable is just the worst idea, I mean, they don't really care about anybody, but I may be able to like turn it over once again. It had to be done right, but the better thing is, you gotta keep that one you're going here. That's a, a great uh, body check to put it on here. With the boat check, that's gonna be easier to take. Jay Dottinger has one of his energized ability that has taken for any of this game, and they're having a great saving on a maximized effort. Quinn Goose is one of the better sharpening edges to make it one tip. He has a lot of them to try to go in from in between, but it's really edges in the zone. Skating in from the crease is a better one to take, and it's a better one to have a sharp and balance. I'll find out for those two in between of uh, Quinn Goose and, of course, Jay Dottinger. Back to you. Great save here by Jay Gottinger. Oh, that is impressive. I was really noticing how Jay Gottinger was filling it out. He had a little bit un uncomfortable out there, but got a great save out there. Pretty good. Robertson right toward the wing. Spins across now, finding Barley shot. Stopped by Demko. 15 2 remaining in the third first period. Game ready for the next face off. Just moments away here in Dallas. one nothing is the score and passing the 15 minute mark. Now the way we'll play it up for Juleson. He finds again the Zerov. Robertson over the hand shot. Score! Two goals in the game for Luke Hicks. They have the exception to a can't just pull down for Luke Hicks. That just happened to make a crazy run taking effort. Now, I know you're not even looking at it, but Blue Gates, he's just getting a fire in there. Better takes a little puck on straight. He had that one with his better combat that one. He really wants to have it all. The better in this play doesn't mean that Blue Gates has been making puck on straight, but also taking a time effort to try to beat the Canadian team. It wasn't very easy enough to make that score, but I always say now, Blue Gates has been doing well. Face off win for Vancouver Canucks as Sutter is in the long zone. Finds Holvinder. Safe play! Stop playing again by Jake Ottinger. Past the 15 minute mark in the first. Just can't fool down for Jake Ottinger. He had a lot of saving of his impact. On to the next face off. 14 42 left to go in the first. 2 to 0 is the score. And a win puts it in. Shot! No shaft burning of the puck in to make the goal. And it's Ottinger with a nice save. Harley right toward passing the center line. Can't give him in front of it as he battled for the loose puck. Bobelski gets it over to Heiskinen. Heiskinen right toward into the left wing. He fires it off the blocker and off the glass. It goes right back to Bobelski. Back to Heiskinen. Goes over the middle. Trying to hold on with the puck without the goal as this one goes right behind him. The Canucks are back into their offensive zone. Her attacking shot misses wide. Sutter gives it again to Zedorov. Zedorov's shot. Big save and a play by Ottinger. Now it's back to Hintz. Hintz trying to make his way through. The pass over by Marchman. Marchman shot stopped by Demko. 13-24 remaining in the first, as we'll get them a little bit, little bit of time to catch their breaths and get ready for our next face-off. Officials are getting set, ready for the face-off to puck drop. Lindholm wins the face-off, as Cole will have that puck in chance effort, as he will now try to make his way on the other side of the zone, on the right. Pass to Garland, great stop by Ottinger. 13.08 to go in the first period. Ottinger just seemed like he wants to get a lot of great saves of his Energizer to keep it going. Now the way in toward Vancouver. Redirected and it goes back to Sutter. Sutter off to Duchesne. 
The Stars are back into the current Vancouver zone. Garland trying to bow for the puck. Trying to give it over and to make a loose play. Cole's got it this time. And it's to Neb with the puck steal. Fighting over again is Marksman. Here's Duchesne. Shot close, saved by Demko. Under 15 minutes in the first, getting ready for the next faceoff. Now they're off to the next faceoff to get this thing settled in. Now the win for Lindholm. He has it over to get to Garland. Garland right toward the wing, trying to enter it in. Attacking zone to Lindholm. Blocks a shot off the wall back to Garland. Got to make a big play about there. I mean, that's a blockage of his own. They can't leave that one entering in all every time. This may need to get this one in there or straight away to get that cannon release. They just didn't believe what's going on. Because of how to happen, that's when it's going to take Olven to make that one shot stoppable. The saving opponent right now as the Nap will have that puck in. Going back over is Sutter. Suter trying to get right into the wing. Right over to get a Johnston. This is blocked the shot. And Segelman shot. Saved it up. Had saved by Demko. He's really eager right now. That is just going to change things over to do it again. And it's Cole finding Miller. Miller with the chance effort. Shot stopped Bay by Ottinger. Stopped the play with under 11.30 to go in the first, nearing the midway mark of the period. With the next face off in between, Dallas Stars 2-0 over Vancouver. Now the wing puts in for JT Miller. Cole will have a chance. Ottinger makes a save. 11.21 to go in the first. Now they're off to do another face-off. Try to look for another attacker as they're still 2-0 game. And have a win for Vancouver. And the penalty has been signaled on Dallas. It's going to be a one way to change it badly. Ah, uh, it's not so good at all. I think that was causing the tripping. The referee knew it. He had that hand whistled up. He just saw that play. Yep, you can't just make him trip somebody over. But that is going to happen to make a change off. Not so good at all. Yeah, definitely going to be a first penalty in a major on this one. Not going to be excellent out there. I mean, don't play it like you did. First power play coming up for Vancouver. This will be their first penalty kill for Dallas Stars. As this one will be the first one with 11-09 to go. And we will play the fur at Lindholm. Great block of the clock. He will fire it up and out of here. Knocked off his helmet, but Hughes will have that fucking covered back to again to Buzo. That's a shot. Excellent save here by Ottinger. You know, easier that happens to be okay for him, but I really need to make a little change out of it for Ottinger to keep it in there. 10.50 left, near in the midway mark of the back half. It's still a 2-0 game. Now the win puts it up. Deuce Pedersen, kick off to Bowser. Baser, hits with the blood, taking away with the puck. Heisken in, right over into the wing. Trying to let it alone. Hughes takes the puck away. Right over to Besser. Again a Hoaglander. Save play by Ottinger. Heisken and fighting again to Sutter. He fires that went up and over the of a defender. Now it's back to Hughes. Just one minute for Vancouver power play. And just down, passing a midway mark of the period in the first. Hughes making a way down into the oh, this one one timer! Blocked up by Ottinger! Made a stoppage on inbound. That's what happens now for Jake Ottinger. Made Energizer, made the save out of it and increase to make that an in for a little. Miller wins the face off as now this one hits again. And it's Steel with the puck steal. Fasta right over in toward the center. Trying to go for a shot. Big save on the play by Demko. And it's Hankopo right over again. The pass is broken up by Steel. We buy it here, back to Kaikapa, he fires that shot, and it's off the defender's skate, and it goes right over again to Miller. Miller right toward the middle, but save up and bound! And he will try to dive that release for Ottinger, here in a 9 minute mark of the period. Green looking for a mascot here, and this one, he's just trying to watch this game here to be all excited about streaking. You know, 
three dance goes when they make their way into the playoffs. That's what they always do. <laughs> if you're not my only lover, I don't say I would be able to make the streak out of goo. If you don't just play it out there, I mean, he always dance so much. But that's what Victor Green does. That's what he definitely does in for the postseason. You can't be leaving that one out there if you're trying to like, like dance around in that one here with nothing on it, on you. I mean, all that mascot does, go for some celebration and then, yep, kick it up with the street game. <laughs> it's always crazy enough when you play it at that point, but that's when you make the victory win, play it as the stars beat against the teams. After a power play is over, as I think we'll, we'll cover the puck up, we're going to be nearing an eight minute mark. Here in the back, we are at the back half of the period. Dallas is up ahead, two nothing. Now the win will play it in for the Canucks. Buck almost taken over. Fires a shot. Big save by Ottinger. Miller will rebound the puck to Friedman. And it's a bad stop by Ottinger. Now it's back to Robertson. This one he will be swinging it out of here. Time attack is turned off. Miller will try to leave it alone. This one gets with a kick. And now it's back to JT Miller. Miller for shot! Saved by Ottinger! 8-11 to go in the first. Yo, man, I'd say the, the crowd has been stoppable out there. I don't know what's going to keep on going, but that must have changed things over a bit. Quite a while. Pedersen wins the faceoff. It's Aronek. Gets on both twisted. Cannon on with the puck, and this one been knocked away by Heiskinen. Arnley gives over to Duchesne, and back to Delandria. Over now to pass to Marchman. Marchman goes tumble down as Aronik will try to carry the puck out. He's trying to make his way through. Oblander right through the middle, Frank Sutter. Safe play by Ottinger. He's going to hold that puck now with just nearing a 7.30 mark in the period. Now both sides are ready to take off the faceoff. Still looking for another game here to get that score in between of the of the coast of the coast. From Dallas to Central and Vancouver in Pacific. Now as Marchman will try to scare it out. And the shame! Pat saved by Demko. Oh, what a stop. It's just easier now when you know for Demko, this one makes a pad reaching safe on that one to, to try to lose the puck. This wasn't even close at all. He made that one early range. He finds Duchesne. Now Duchesne will try to get it out to Delandria. Marchman loses the puck. Hughes trying to get over it. Hughes has got it this time. He now finds the pass. Takes him down. Now back the airway. away. The pass off to Garland. Garland to pass to Lindholm. Blocker stop for a rebound by Pokoskin. Kicks the puck to Garland. Fires it. Good save by Ottinger. Stegelman trying to ring it in toward the right left wing. Hughes with a chance at first. Now he gives it over to Lindholm. Dumps the puck into the star zone. Dallas are back in the offense as Lindell will have it here. The firing range right around the net. Zadorov has got that puck. The door off again to Verona. Off the pass to Garland. Garland on the cut. Misses the shot wide. Oh, that time it's not going to take any easier for Connor Garland, but that needs to be a changeup. Clip. Lindell. Oh, that big kick out there in the wing. There's a fight out there. I don't know what's going to keep on coming. That connects as we're putting the pressure again in the Canucks zone. It's never going to happen now, but you got to play it when you did. Too many bodies in the way as Buster back to get up a Miller over to Zerov, and a shot he scores! McKayev has to go up and a chance to back down by one. You can't let McKayev get that one in there, but the happens with the goal guy and released it. In the back end of the shot, make that in. Now I'm not surprised about this one happened here, but that clear look has to be JT Miller. And then this pass gets it over to McKayev after Zadorov, and this one was going bouncing in right toward the net. It was not really easy what was going on, but I know that didn't change anything. The Dorovs bringing their team back down by one when we're nearing a five minute mark as right now the first period comes down to a five minutes and the puck is dropped 
And the resume will put it in for Harley. Tenev's got that puck in right toward the wing. Finds again against. Tenev's shot. What a save by Demko. Pokes it, but he scores. Jason Robinson unable to cover the puck for Demko as he takes it away. It's not what really you basically do here. And because that happens with Demko, it doesn't really happen. That's what Jason Robinson is saying. No contest. That foul kind of turn and cover up to the puck. That's a little bit of change here to make the worst happen. It didn't really work so well for him, though, so he's got to try and fake it fast. Dialed in, just like other goaltenders. Sutter's got that puck with 440 to go in the first. Finding Giggs right toward the other way. Sutter lost that one. Demko grabs that puck catch, and this one will cover up with under 430 to go. You don't say what happens now in Demko, because that doesn't really change over it. He's got to make that one clean. J.C. Robertson is one of his snipe zone of ability that has all of them turning to be in. On his better rebounding, it's just a great way to have that one going in. All of the snipe to go with the long range, he has it all in there. And the better performances, guys, he has that one with a quick range and a shot. The Canucks are back in the star zone. Great stop by Ottinger with 4 7 to go in the first. Officials again said, ready for the next face-off. Three ones to score over Vancouver. Now the win puts it up for the Stars as Seneb will have it over. The Ranger band now finds Pavelski. The pass over to Robertson. Racing inbound find Hintz. Hint shot! Saved by Demko! 3.49 left to go in the first. Looks like they're wanting to try to leave it out and then get it up to the point. Now they're up to the next face-off. Still looking for a chance effort here. Now the win will play it up for the Stars. Harley shoots it and a big save by Demko. It's going to get tougher now because Demko is really trying to like fight for it. It doesn't mean when he was going to get there and through it, but he has to choose what he gets and before that angle gets him off their target wide. Got to be out there playing there, but don't let them happen again. High skin in, now finding a chance over to Harley. The pass beat deep to Duchesne. And this one pass broken up by DeAndrea. Hoaglander. Battle on the board, says Demko will cover it up with you know, under three minutes, and now he's having it over again to Pedersen. The pass back to Sutter. In the attacking zone, Sutter, stopped by Ottinger. Great stop on the play here as Ottinger will settle things up and get to the next face off in between. Once again, for the second period, we will have a special guest coming in there soon, so that will be the end of the first. And the second period will be coming in near the mark, passing the 15 minute mark of the period. 2 3 6 is left to remain in the first. And right now, this will be the start of it for the second, so a special guest will be underway soon. Take a moment to begin, and then we'll get right into some break, and then get back on ice. And Miller wins the faceoff, and Saronic will have it. Pass to Poster. Poster shot, great blockage on a stop by Oninger. He now finds Harley, and with only 2.20 to go. Now that's a blocker, that makes a great save out of it. Playing it in between of it wasn't really easy enough to make that one chance. All that effort is now, he's got to make that one a lot of tough range ins to get it out. That's not going to happen with anybody, but that needs to be a little changing often differently. He finds Miller, and now the pass to Mikheyev. Canucks back in the star zone. The stars will play it along the wing. Then over again to Johnston. Johnston shoots it! Got saved by Demko. Rolls back to Hughes, back again to Miller. Miller right toward the wing. Gets the pass to Mikheyev. We're on an edge, save it again by Ottinger. He don't want that piece. It's great. I've always been liking that Ottinger is making great save out of it because that one makes a great one to keep it up. I mean, you got to keep that one going over to make the big play come in. Last minute remaining in the first period as Miller is in the star zone. Stop made by Ottinger. We're under a minute to go in the first, and they'll get ready for the next face-off between the two. On 
on to the next face off. Vancouver Canucks trailing by two with under a minute. Now the win will put it up for the Canucks. It's Freeman's shot stopped by Oninger. Gets them a little bit of a tired defense with here. They will try to reset it up and get right back in. Face up win for the Canucks. Freeman. Looking in the zone, finding Cole, back to Garland, shot, great block on the play. Cole right again to Friedman, fires it, off again by the goaltender. Can't say that, but the goaltender is really making it in there, that approach went right fast. And it flies around the, around the net, and it will get some tired defensemen here, the guy will be called an icing on Dallas. Now the next faceoff will be an appearance in between Canadian and American team. Connor Garland trying to give over to it again, and the pass can't handle the puck. Lindell right toward the wing. Arnold Pavelski shot of save by Demko. Chance ever to make the play, doesn't seem to go in for Pavelski, but he's trying to get it in. I know. I don't know what's going to keep on coming down there, but that's what the Stars are doing. they got to see what they can do to try to get back in there. Lindell wins the face off. Cole right toward the wing, getting the full close scan. And this will be the end of the first period. We'll take some quick break and get back in the action. Stars up again by two. We'll get to the second when we come back after the break. Glad you have us back with us and we're ready to start the second period in Dallas. And off we go, we're ready to start the second period in game three for the American Airlines Central. Great attacking of the use. Uh, I'll have to take some of you guys of how they done in the first. Well, they played really well. A lot of a hard scrimmage out there, but this one needs to be a lot of work improvement out there because the Canucks are trying to foul it out. They really are trying to make the playable in there on the head, but that didn't really seem to like stop them. All that needs to do, he's got to get that one in there with as the close range as he can. It's not really easy when they're taking it, but I know they are just having a hard time to get that scoring in. Gotta play for real, I mean, doesn't mean anybody. They need to show them how it's done. The rebound puts for Pavelski. Who's around in as a Ronick will try to stop him out. Hits in the corner of the range. And here's Hughes with a chance right over to get into Oakland there. Oakland there right over into the wing and Kitts grabs the puck steal. Dallas Stars trying to get right again to Heiskin in. And Cole has a puck. In toward the middle. Off again to Sutter. Off it goes. And this one stopped by Oninger. Got a great stoppage for a great play and bounce on the Canucks. It's not what you do. Don't take the risk of it. Defend it. I was really saying that. Wow. What a save. They can't let that go anywhere. Duchesne trying to get a march man. Pat stopped by Demko. But he scores. Mason Arthur. Way too slow to get there. You know, I don't think they really had a chance in that That puck was just right away. And this is what happened right now because that playable was in there. That one just turns it over. That score is going to take over to anybody in the way. I mean, if you don't get that one right in time, to me, that's, that's going to change it over. No one's going to get that effort. Nobody's, get that. Nobody's going to get the save. And this one is going to change it all over again to stop that puck. I'm just going to hold that puck up under 18 minutes in a second. With my special guest of the, uh, we're calling it, for the conference finals, I give a warm welcome back as with a special guest here with the worker of me phone, and I give it over to give that one with an else to make the improvement to Zoe Troop Lang. It's been a great one to take over there. How are you doing it so far? It's always been great. I've always been seeing it like a great way to have that all with that amazing with this the conference finals. And this was an epic of a journey. We're coming in from here for a for the line of the place here. And this was excellent. All that happened to be like a great way to just enjoy it. And this one is definitely what they all have to believe on. They are just playing it in there like they do. Now, for the chance I'll have for you from the episode 9, the worker with Mifo has definitely got to pay it off. How did that happen with that? It will really do well. I was really talking to uh, how the Mifo was giving a little bit of advice to the contestants out there. They're really big. 
doing great. The, the effort of it's just amazing to give that one uh, a good amount of advice here for making animation. And I really just enjoy it now that they are really doing well, well enough and they can definitely like make a lot of animation here from episode 9 and this was it's fantastic. And all for my friend of a, a worker for me fun, it the like, money wasn't even worth but that was all I could definitely have turned it over to me. I was really like happy enough that, that I really get to see this one along with a great stop each of this and let's scale the use from in between of the animation clips and this one's been turning that great! Even if anybody does have it all, but that's what I just really have to tell you now that this is trying to be a great one to take and for an amazing new episode. And I guess now that the game happened here was Eclipse, I think this might be a turn off to be some animation in there. Thanks to two tall animations, I mean, for NBA class, so this has been great now. Now I just really have to say for you, do you think that this uh, season for has been turning to be successful? Why or why not? I really like the season. This one has really turned to be great on it. And you miss what all that happened here is because of that one with the new uh, new contestants that were already big here making the fans. And they were really like just all everywhere. And they really have to enjoy it for anybody else that can play it, they can plan it, and they can definitely be here to compete and have fun. I was really happy enough that you for you be fun, you've been one of the best. So thanks so much. And without question out there, what is your take here for this for this conference finals? And who do you think will have? My personal cake here, I'm just going to have to say, is that the stars are really like keeping it out of here. This might be an attorney great, I mean, I'd be guessing that this one's going to be an excellent matchup out there. But this one may be a great way to get right through it, and if all of that, it's been... I don't know, it's going to be a while on that. How well, playable it is out there, there's no troop, and I really must say that this one's going to be a hard matchup. I think the Canadian and the American team could be better. Who can knows that would be better out there, I mean... They have a lot of them to try to choose what they matter. It's all that happens. <laughs> I really disagree right now. I mean, they really are trying to like show them off. This this might be an excellent to take over, but hopefully it might be all coming in. Power plays over for Dallas Stars. Playing in here was not always easy enough than for the Dallas Stars to pick up the goal. After that, that tripping call must have been on Vancouver Canucks. But that must have changed things over. This was not turning what they were expecting to do. I know it's just too hard, nothing can't go right, I mean, what can the world can they do? They don't have anyone to try to protect them. During the back half of the period, it's a 4-1 game if Dallas lead by 3. Then Cooper Canucks wins the faceoff. Now you will try to do that one again to pick up the other way, and back to Mikheyev. Mikheyev, right over to Bozer. Fraser shot. Mikheyev shot, stopped by Ottinger. It was an excellent take. I was really loving that. Jake Ottinger was able to get, make a great save. Though. It just all happened now. I mean, you played it for real. I mean, that's what they are, are keeping it going. Goaltenders are doing a lot of energizer. They are trying to look their way through it. I mean, trying to sip it out. I mean, that's what that they are they're going to. It's, it's an opportunity range. I mean, you, you've got to feel that. Like you can play this goaltender. Great ones to take. Now the win for Vancouver Canucks. Arone makes it in. This one is stopped by Ottinger to cover it up. 14-12 to go in the second period. Ready to take the next face-off. And now the next face-off is appearance in to get ready for the next one. And off to another win for Vancouver. Arone to Bezer. Bezer shot. Love saved by Ottinger. An excellent time angle, that's supposed to be for Jake Ottinger to pick up a save. When that inbound, it just happens to be with the shooting of the puck going rocket fire. That means it goes right toward the glove and he needs to release the catch. I really like it when he just made that one in there big time. Here's Robertson, shot stopped by Demko. Here in the 12 minute mark of the period, they're still trying to need to make its work on for the Vancouver Canucks. And now the next chance ever, we'll be taking it in. Miller wins the faceoff. Now it rolls again to Hughes. Hughes right toward the wing. Loses the effort as Miller, and it goes right back to Lindell. Pavelski will have that puck in, trying to get back over. Harone takes the puck steal. And now it's back again to Mikheyev. Miller, cutting inbound, rebounded by Abesso, that's a shot, 
Save up. Hines are out of the way. What a great chance effort for the Canucks to get back into two. But it's denied by the goaltender. Oh, no. I just really looked at how did you just like playing it out there, big? I mean, you got to give that one a snap again and give, give it an energizer. And that one just needs to find a good jury finding another way. I mean, that's like how perfect he is. Lindell finds again in the line draft. Makes a knockoff in front of it, and Sutter will have it back. Right behind the net. Holdlander, the pass again to Goo, shot. Off the glove, and it's off again by Marchman. Can't let that pull out of here because that one really races it over towards the angle. You know, bad on the angle, I can't really say about what's going to happen. That really needs to make a little change out of it, aggressive. Now the win puts it in for the Vancouver Canucks as Hughes will have it back. Now we'll see our way to Hoaglinder. Hoaglinder try to race it out. The shot and it's stopped by Oninger. We'll take a little bit of time here nearing the midway market period. Four ones to score. Now they're off to do it again. Four ones to score for Dallas. Then Duchesne wins the face off. It's Hankapo will try to leave it out. Bucking it in with the Pope, finding Lindell. Off again to Duchesne. Here's Delandria. Where does Duchesne shot? It's saved by Gimco. He'll hold that puck with the whistle. Get ready for the next face off. And speaking to say right now at this moment, are you looking to see if the viewers are going to just make that watch, look out, and then join in the show for the BFDI and the Sandy Tour Zone Troop? I think so. I mean, I think it's, it's going to be a great one here for a takeover right here, guys. I thinking that this one should be a fantastic one. Well, I best thing, I best thing is, I mean, enjoy the animation. I mean, I think there's a lot of great uh, opportunity. And Tiny Taco Tales, they're out now. I mean, I can't believe it that there is a great episode to go with that. Maybe this will be my next uh, reaction video that I'll be able to do. It. So stick around, guys, as this will be the next one in July. I'll try to find out if there's a little bit more schedule change to make a fix. Miller right toward the corner. And he went slash. That's going to be Dallas on Johnston. Oh, that's not true to get everybody. That's what happens to Johnston. He had that one here poking out of here. He got a little bit of a mistake. And this one is not going so well. Next penalty kill on Dallas. This will be another power play coming up for Canucks. As this will be another takeover to do it from here. Dallas Stars, another disappointment effort here as they never had a chance to make the power play goal, but the Canucks are trying to get that answer back. Costco wins the faceoff. Steele will have his own end. The dip it over to Costco. Takes a big hit. Great stop by Hughes. A little bit of a battle rage here for Costco. Lynn Holmes got that puck right toward the wing. Back to Costco. Gets to Steele. Steele will clear that puck out. Pedersen has that puck in control. Sends it off to Passer. That's a shot! Hey, it's off it again and then off the net and it rolls back over to the wall. Back to Fosca. That shot misses the opportunity of this range. I mean, it's not turning to be easier enough when they're doing this again. They've got to make sure this one needs to keep it at a higher range than that. Buster with the puck shot. This one's chopped up. And Buster. The shot to Lingo. Stop again by Ottinger. Great excellent stop here by Ottinger. He's all, you will have that puck stop with 10 2 to go. Now the next face off is an appearance in between Dallas and Vancouver. We pass the midway mark of the period. Same with a play. Two times stop by Ottinger. Oh, that effort you see here for Jake Ottinger. I mean, he's doing well. Timing on the attack doesn't mean anybody. He really has to get going. Yeah, six exactly true out there to be fun. And I really have to just say, this really got great on the stoppage. Turning really well. Here's Hankapa right over in toward the wing, and he will fire that out. They don't have time left, and they have 20 seconds left to shoot. And so the shot, glove saved by Ottinger. Excellent take here for the goaltender. Just 9.21 to go. 
If you join us here for, for the show, as we, I will be able to do some a little bit of like a show to give that one off to you guys for the BFDI and MA Sandy Tour. So that will be my uh, my prediction here for, for a vlog, but I officially done that one here for this point. Last year was successful, but now this year it's going to happen again. So I'll be able to make some a little bit of edit change right in between of those two, and I'll be only on Set of Beast after the show. So you don't want to miss that one out. It's going to be amazing. Miller, save up by Ottinger. Oh, he's like a really aggressive out there. That meter doesn't mean that is a nasty pit play collision. That's going to like change it out. Johnson shot, never save me by Demko. Duchesne finds Johnston. Johnson now has it again to Heiskanen. And a stop made by Demko. And it's over now to Johnson. Heiskanen shot, big save by Demko. He just made that one easier enough than the full pressure on the attack coming on for the Stars. Yeah, it's always easy. I did not believe in what he's going to shoot. It's just really like all take ever. I mean, nothing happened to be worried about. Like taking over in there, I mean that one's going to be a lot of a change for that shot to get in. Miller, get back to Besser. Back to Mikaya. Shoots it, save it, poked it out. It's great enough that Ottinger is making a good stop out of it. Got it going. Marchman now fights Duchesne. Duchesne shoots, save by Demko. Great shot, but it's stopped by the goaltender with under eight minutes to go. Well, we have a coming up on the games in this one here. We've got game four that will be happening right in between the alley. With the group of Dallas Stars and the Canucks, that will be happening here with the, with the second to last of the game. And this will be a double header. As for the other game, this might be a little bit of a change-off right in between of a game four. So this might be only one, two games in between. And the other two games will be happening here. This will be changing into 3.30 game. And the other game will be happening at 8.30. Nope, sorry, 5.30, game for the Maple Leafs and the Hurricanes, and the other game will be only at 8.30 p.m. So that will be on the other side to get ready, as he has a little bit of a swapping change, and this will be the next one for game four to be underway. That will be only on Sunday, piece. And he scores! High speed! Drops the alley! Now you're saying it'll be 5-1. You don't have to believe that one. Ice is really like giving that great shot. That's like really like an unbelievable take of sniping in there. That was like excellent. Please get it out for the outside of it. This just goes right past the dead gun. One way up. Hey, everybody's been all fun out there. Same steel. I mean, I don't know what you get to do. I mean, that one for three assists. I mean, give it all you got. Face off win for Posca. Now he tries to give off to Harley. Harley finds Smith and a pad stop, and this will be a new replacement for the Demko to D. Smith with 7 11 to go in a second. You know how tired he is for Demko? I mean, he doesn't really think he was going to handle it at all. But that one really is going to be too much to handle it, but I know I think he'll be missing out for games, the rest of the games of the periods, but hopefully he'll get back into it to do it more in game four. So hopefully it might be great. A little shot left saved by Ottinger. Under seven minutes remaining in the second, 5-1, the big lead scoring nine. Now they're next to the next face-off. Right of appearances in between with under seven minutes, it's a 5-1 game. And it's Pedersen winning the face-off. They all come to the double step, and this will be backing over, and he loses the puck, rolls out. D. Smith will now have it again to pull. Looking to make something happen here along in the offensive zone. Pedersen, the winner. Shoots it. See. David releases for Ottinger. 6.30 to go in a second. I think that that quick timing reaction. He made that one really good. Plays any effort. I mean, that's like a hard stop. Little wins the face off his pole, now finds Cleveland. Who's the effort? This one goes right back the airway. Great stop on the effort for Dallas Stars to pick up. And this one will be roughed out, and Smith will break their puck out of the zone. Dumps in the corner. Freeman will have it again to Lindholm. Trying to catch some time, Lindholm. Battling for the effort right toward the middle. And blocker stop made by Ottinger. 
Easy enough to get, take over for Ottinger. That one puts a great save on a great stoppage. This one really is going to keep on going. I know it's not turning to be easier, but you make a call, you make that one drip, that's what happens to make it clean. Freeman takes the puck away. It's Garland will have that puck in back the other way, back to Lindholm. Went over to 2 on one and that one is off again by Ottinger. What a stop! You know, I definitely didn't say that Ottinger was going to, like, keep that in there, but that is a great hard chance stopping play inbound. This one is really going to keep on making a mess all over them to make that one in a big use. Score! JT Miller with the goal. Back down by three. It's a 5-2 game. Nobody ever says at JT Miller with the great goal. You know how to happen here. That pass puts it in by Malkowski. And this one was given over to JT Miller. That one was a great pass over. And this one beats over right toward the goaltender on the line. Bobby Joe just really saw that. But he didn't really think he was going to make a save. And this one has changed it over ever than before. Now this happens to be a close in a run. I think you're going to like climb it in. He swings the face off and this Lindell will now have it over in the other ring. Back to the hints. As he will now find Lindell. Lindell finds Hankapa. Chop the shot and Sorotic will now have it the other way. Lose the puck. Hankapa trying to give off to Gates. The give over to Robertson. Pumps out. Gates with the puck and rebound. Able to have it. Up high. He sniffed tap, grabs that shot with the save. And with only under five minutes remaining in the second. Now both teams are ready to take the next face off. Miller wins the face off. But where I now find Skews. Skews back to Mikhaev. Mikhaev. Right in the center. Blocked on a shot made here by Ottinger. Close up over the battle for the puck. The rebound puts in for Frankopo. And Marksman will now have it over to Delandria. Skips that puck right in behind the net. They give it a long two cues. Finds Holbender and Miller right toward the wing. Sliding over, thinking about another one. Stop again by Ottinger. This one's closer to save. If he gets two more, I mean, this needs to be having a, a great chance at him. I don't know what's going to keep on going, but that is really like a, how hard that is. Make that change unbelievable. Johnston wins the face off as Hank Abad has it over now as Hoaglander get back to Pedersen. Pedersen moving around, back to a huge shot. This one's redirected off again. That's Stankleman as Ottinger will grab it again. Back to Stankleman. Here's Hovinder, back to Sutter. Lindell takes it out. Three minutes left in the second period, and Johnson will have an earth clear look. On a short step by Demko. Lindell finds Kankapa. Hankapa can't get that puck in, as this one lost control and is back to Hughes. He's past the Sutter. Sutter loses the effort. Dallas Storrs back into the offensive zone. Full attacker range. Gets off the shot to Ben, then it's stopped by D. Smith. Under 2.30 left to remain a second. It's a, still a 5 2 game. This may not be easy, what they're going to expect. I mean, what could happen? I don't know. I mean, this is what they have to do. This really needs to keep it up there. Better take. Not happening. But hopefully, that D. Smith might be keeping another save out there. This needs to be a, a cool look. I have to be turning like it's already, already becoming in big out there for tonight. Loses that one as Paul Koske. Right toward in the wing in the center on a slot. And misses the shot wide. Stop the play about and find Sutter. Sutter has gone along right toward the middle. Missed the shot. Cole's got it right across the zone. Off to the dome. Little speeding his way through. Pass broken up. Garland with the puck steal. Chop the puck up as Kinch will have it back. Tanaya has it across again to Robertson. Robertson finds Kinch. He now gives it off to Pavelski. Pavelski in the middle of the score! Joe Pavelski! Off the playoff goal at Sigmund League. There is no question for Pavelski. 
Made that in here in the past D split. What an excellent take. You know what happens right now, lad? He comes in the bound. What a slip move. I say for that now that Wood Pigs was given an up to Great Joe Galaxy. That was been putting in with a great one to take. On a tap, the range doesn't need to anybody. That was been wow. What a slick move here! I like that play, but hey, the better takes his time in it because of Cole Joe Bukowski. He's been like keeping it in here. Better ones than that for happen right now, but it's like, what an unbelievable take. Takes a hit! Pacers got that puck. Right over now, the pass broken up and Delandria will have it back. And this one will carry it on to the wing. The pass is broken up and back to Hughes with 30 seconds. Now finding even Besser. Besser right toward into the wing. Takes a hit. Rebound here. This one's broken up. Besser shot. Great stop here. Oh, wow. Oninger's really like playing it so well. Keep that one out there to make a lot of saves for Oninger. I mean, he's like a king right now in game three. I mean, he's like already showing it up and this was like a best one. I like that Andrew is playing it on his better position. He's clubbing it up, making it quick, and he's been like, wow, great takes. And this is what happens right now here, right now for you, so Trip. I think this plan is turning to be great. Yeah, I love that play effort. It's been doing great. I think the Stars will be able to clear it, and then I think they will win. Well, I hopefully think there is too, so we'll see how this one goes. Thank you so much, so Troop, for having us today, and we'll see you all, see you all again for, for next time as we'll be happy, happy to have you back here. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate it for you guys. Good luck for the third period for the Stars and Vancouver Canucks. And we'll be right back with the third. After this break, we'll get right into back to the clean sheet of ice. Grab a hot dog, grab a snack, grab a water, because third period is where we finish off game three right around the corner. You're watching the NHL Conference Finals on EA Sports. Be back after this. Hope you're having fun with us. It's the third period at Dallas. Game three, ready to go. And what a night we have been through in between the Western Conference Finals after the Eastern Conference Finals with a great shot after Demko suspension out on the bench. Bringing it back to Smith, ready to get this thing settled and go. All right, guys, I have a little bit of a take here of how they come up here in the second period of the recap. You know what? I was funny there. Because of how they were playing it like this, they were all making them some shots here for Dallas Stars. I was really impressed with how all that work they came into. There was no stopping at Ottinger, who had made a great save. The great inbound has been turning like excellent. I really like everybody who's taking a lot of time to get this one goals in. But they're doing all that much passing. Stars are doing well, but the Canucks, I think I need to step it up a little bit more. Well, hopefully this might tidy itself, but it might happen whatever, but you may never know what's going to be. Here's a warning shot. Great stop here by Ottinger. Oakland Bird, that point Suter. The last stop by Ottinger, and a full pressure will be putting on for the full attack on Canucks. Now they're ready for the next face-off. Six to two is the score. Hinch wins the face-off. Harley has the airway now trying to work his way off to Robertson. Robertson coming in bound. Gets the Pavelski shoots for a rebound and stops Mighty Smith. One timer redirected off the glass and it's against again Robertson. Big save here by the Smith. This is going everywhere now. I don't know what they were doing, but this is like no question to ask. I mean, wow. They're all over right now. Smashing the Canucks. Not an easy choice. Here's Pedersen. The pass off to Holgander. Missed it up, and it's Harley Becker Robertson. Robertson right toward in the wing. This one stops out. And there will be a slashing on the Dallas Stars as this referee has been signaling it. A slash call. Yeah, it's not doing too well, actually, because it looks like that right Jason Robertson must have had that one for late, a tad late, and it's not picking it up really well. Not too good. Can't play it like that Robertson did. Penalty kill on Dallas. This will be Canucks on a number power play advantage to get back in by three. Let's see if they can do this one again. 
0-2 for tonight here in a game, here in a power play. Hopefully there might be another way to get this thing going alive. Here's Aroni, he will have that puck now give it off to Suter. Over to Garland. 2-0-1 opportunity. Good club stop by Ottinger. Nothing signaled on Vancouver as Lindell will have to stray it out to Steele and clear it out. Chance in front for a short band of Mufasca. Big rebound. He scores. Short band of gold comes up for now. Star. Fucks down with his first goal in the Pirates Finals. Look at him right doing it. He was right towards it. What well, the stick was at when he made that when he makes it over. He was right on the trail and getting first. But that's that man here in for Fosca. He got a great goal. What an excellent take. For the short band of players to keep on going. An excellent 1% steal on a short-handed play around. And now stays 7-2 over Vancouver. You never play it like that. You've never seen how this is going to happen. I ain't never seen anybody doing it like that. The stars are just like shooting out of here and there, just flinging it out and then just letting it go by. They are just going everywhere right now. I just never seen anybody doing it like that at all. But this play ball does mean everything. Pass there with a shot, and our penalty has been signaled on Dallas. Heiskin is in the penalty box, throwing in the, in the penalty box in with Jason Robertson. I got a bad feeling of what's going on for Heiskin, and it looks like that he's not doing well. So it looks like they'll have to regroup some up at the bench. I think that for Jason Robertson will be out there first before Heiskin. Now a chance play here for the Canucks. This is a 5-on-3 advantage with 53 seconds to go. Great short-handed goal for the Dallas Stars, but it seemed like that they need to get it. And they got a goal. Quinn Hughes receives his power play as Tyler Robertson. Jason Robertson comes back on the ice rink. Just what you need here. After Lindbaum give off to Hughes, he just fires that rapid rocket. That's just one-time angle. With that face-off, this happens to be Lindholm win, and man, this is what Jason Robertson never saw us. That one coming for Quinn Hughes. Great goal to make that one possession, right along the way. 7-3 to score in the third for 17.05 left to go in the third period. Patterson now finding Suter. Well, the power play is still up in advantage. The power play is still coming in for the Canucks as the puck rolls out and onto the netting out of play. Seemed like they wanted to get another one here, but let's see if they can get another power play coming down to a 16 minute mark. One and three this time. Ottinger makes a save and this will be rolling out. Sutter has it. Sutter now give it over again to, Maquette, to Garland, over and out the middle. Saved by Ottinger. Lindell tries to give over again to Fosca. Lifts it up in the air and this will be right in towards the near the net. The Canucks are back in their offensive zone with 1.20 to go in the power play. With possession along the wing, Lindo puck steal. Fosca dips it out, unable to clear it out. Pedersen, Hockepop with the puck steal. This one flies out. Pedersen's got that puck, now he finds again to Hughes. Hughes right toward the right wing. Gets to Garland. Off to Miller. Big save by Ottinger. This was no match. How could Ottinger be the best star that you got to play for? That's my question I must answer. What is up at the use? They are just getting over and done. Garland with a loose puck. And Ottinger got that lucky save. Deeps it out of the own end. No time left, Verona needs to get something through. And a save by Ottinger! What an unbelievable stop! Now I know that everybody's supporting it. Look at the fans! They were all standing up to each other. They all salute to Ottinger. And the rest of the team there are just making that one feel, playing that one in the Dallas. They played really, really well. And now I have to tell you now, whenever you get this thing done here for the defenders, they, they wanted to get that job there done. Ottinger's really playing the best of the goaltender. I mean, you got to give a salute to that. That's what it's been playing it for bigger time. Quinn Hughes slowly to get up as Pavelski has the puck. 
And he will stop that puck as Smith will have it. He's Smith having a little bit of trouble out there. Got a little bit of the bank up. It seemed like Oaklander must have got that one in there, and I never see what's going on. A little bit of chest bruise here. I'm thinking you might have to go in the bench now to go report. We're nearing down the midway mark of the period. 7-3 is our score for Dallas. They're up by four. Now the win puts in for the Canucks. He will fire that off to Cole. Give it again with the open look. And a pass to Hoaglander. Ottinger makes a save. He stops that butt and will get by a man advantage to try to slow it down to get ready for the next faceoff. One of the biggest one of the plays of this game. Jason Robertson in Arcadia, California being born and moved to Northville, Michigan. This one is one of the better plays that he has played before the Little Caesars in Detroit Kings minor hockey team in Michigan before drafting in the Kingston Warriors of Ontario Hockey League in 2015. Robertson with his 18 goals in his first season with the Kingston for the most of any rookie since Anthony Stewart. And in the next two years, he became the first Fortnite to record back-to-back 40-goal -back season since Michael's ignomized as Robertson has traded to the Niagara Ice Dogs partway through 1819. Score from two to the Now that's a key for Joe I think Robertson has done enough. He's got a great pass and this one gets it over again to Wadowski. What shot! You know that sits in there, that was a little bit of a good open look. He had more, the puck had more room to jump in. And he had that one to make the goal. A great scoring for Joe Wadowski. He has two goals in this game with group picks. But there might be a half turn for the next one. I don't know, this might be it. I mean, I think they're going to keep it up. I think Kansas might be able to get that goal. Or Wadowski. I think the big tipper might be in there. OP. As I said here before, this one happens to be one of the 2019 OHL season, but it doesn't happen to be that long. With all the effort here during the record, 117 points in 62 games, win both Eddie Powers, Memorial Trophy, and a CHL top score award. Now that's what I always know for. Great things about Jason Robertson playing it for all of his best effort. He's doing really well. I mean, you've got to give credit to that. Here's to Landria. Lost the effort as Hoaglander gets it over back to Cole. Now he finds Bowser. Swap up, swap up. High skidding back to Harley. The Stars are making its way into the offensive zone. Dumps the puck. Freeman's got it across in the other side of the zone again to Miller. Miller right toward away. Goes right to Buzzer. Missed up, blocked up with a choppy motion as High Skinner will now have it back the other way. Toward the left wing. Lost the effort as Harley has it rebounded. High Skinner shoots. This one redirected out of here. Buzzer now finding McKayev. Puck stolen by Johnston. First chance in front. This one shoots in with the puck steal. Nothing, but they were able to get their through. I mean, I don't know what's going to keep on coming now, but that is just no other choice to have it in. Pass to Bikaya. Stopped by Oninger. Lindell trying to make his way across to Robertson. Robertson dumps that puck in, and a rebound puts up for Zadorov. Back to Miller. Here's Hockapal. Passing the center ice of the zone. With a chance to play to Gaines. For three! Go save! Zadorov again to Garland. And now it's over again to Kokosin. Taken along by Zadorov. First shot! Off the mask and it goes right back to Honkapa. This doesn't really happen what they are expecting it. That one's off the, uh, the, the helmet. There was no way it happened. Ooh, wow. That was a big hit. Pavelski for three. That stopped again by the Smith. Lindell lost the effort. Carlin on the fast break. He 
slows down. Looks a good hold. Leno give the pass to Corona. Big hit. Leno to Garland. Lost the upper gear. Here's Fires. Misses the watch shot wide. Robertson now finding Honkapa. And it's back to Delandria. Poked it out. And it's stopped again. Great stop by a two time stop for the Smith. Oglander right over into the middle. Misses the target. And it's back to Hughes. Oh, you got to look at the car target info. That defender is not going to pick up the other way. I mean, it's too much congestion up front. I mean, not going to be easy. With the call, I think we have Boomer. Let's see what he has. The early edger happens to be Quinn Hughes. I was really hoping that this one has turned to be a sharpening edges of the early skating, but that one is starting to be a link. It's a little hard of it in between. I really have to say right now that Quinn Hughes has been doing really well, trying to let that happen in there to get this one on the sharpening edges nearing the crease. I'll find out if there's more games for him, but this is all I've got. Patterson right over in again to Corona. 8.30 left to go in the third. On the pass to Goldender. See! Soon enough, I need to get a Pedersen. Corona, a chance in front. Harley takes a puck steal. Now he finds Marchman. Marchman right toward the right left wing. That's another stop by the Smith. Vancouver back the air away. Pedersen with the rebound, not finding Cole. Again to Suter. Big it up again to Hoglander. Toward the corner. No chance ever does he balance for the loose puck. This one gets it over to Johnston. We just right down toward the other way. First shot, save on his pad. Broken to play, Johnston for the rebound. Here's Mikheyev, right toward the center of it with 7-10 to go. Full shot, another stop by Ottinger. There are plenty of big right now. Ottinger's been doing really well. Playing it for a better career is by game two. Now, as we talk about a give for four for Joe Pavelski, he has been definitely one of the playing with here and his ultimate captain. All that happens right now, he's been playing it for, for many of this game. After previously playing for San Jose Sharks in the first 13 years of the NHL career before being transferred to Dallas Stars. The better way to have this happening here, it was played here at for his many of his captains serving his frozen four, uh, his final four years with the team. And he brought his team in University of Wisconsin. Played for the Wisconsin Badgers men's hockey team and he's one of the often regarded for one of the greatest Sharks of all time. Having led the team, and there's a score for Besser. That will be his first goal as they're trying to drop it inbound. You can't let say Besser get it in, but that's what you have to pronounce it. Not Bozer, not Bajor. It's Besser. Now that's what the play kind of happens right now. And this is what happens if you give it over to Mikheyev, and this is when you give it over to Besser. That one just made up with in-passing auditor. Canucks are trying to get more targets in the goal. They're bent down by four, and it's an 8 4 game. And for the first Stanley Cup Finals in 2016, happened to be one of the great when Joe Pavelski to play for. I know Joe Pavelski. I say that he has been doing really well in his career goals. Playing for the Sharks, I think he's definitely visiting here in San Jose with his team. But they all say, Welcome back. But I think Joe Pavelski, I think his team is going to turn it to be the great. Impact ever, and you know. Whoop kids right behind the net. The pass to Pavelski for three. No deflection, give it in. Robertson trying to get the puck out. I skin in, I'll find Pavelski for three. Saved by the Smith. That was a great effort. Nothing is going to change in there, and he had a great save to put it in bound without Demko. Ice get in, grab the puck back. Rolls it along right toward in the wing. Pass him five minutes left to remain in the regulation period. Cole, give it off to Lindholm. Lindholm for the shot, this is why. And now it's back again to Marchman to Kreiskinen. Want to change it up in a hurry. First shot, up and away, and it's back to Lindell. 
Iceman trying to give off to Marchman. He fires it. It's blocked. Killed by Lindholm. Oh, what a great chance at first. That blocking is going to put a ricochet. Not really at all. Big hit on the center ice. A little bit of physical contact out there, but this is like a big hit that they're taking. I don't know what's going to keep on going. I think that the Hearth Stars are putting a shot at them. Not a choice option. Big rumble takedown near the blue line. Now that's a smash kick. Nasty play. I don't know what's going to keep on coming in like a hurricane stun. This is going to take a lot of the worse to get from here. Duchesne now finds Marchman with 3.30 to go in the third. Cole has that puck. Gains his own right through the wing. Here's a shot. Ottinger makes another save. 3.17 left to go in the third period. The Stars team are just climbing back to make this leadoff possession to stay alive. The win for Pedersen. Gills just shot, and it's crouched down with the block. Battling along the boards with the rebound. Lindell's got that puck. Right along the way, he's trying to find more room. Pass the final three minutes in the third. D. Smith stops at save. Great effort to make this one so far, but this one is going to be a narrow, narrow face-off coming in. For the, for the rebounding win for Pedersen. Hollander trying to make his way across right towards the star zone. Pass to Suter. Shot safe. Right toward the back is Hollander. Near in the back. Here is another one. A shot. Off the pad. And it goes right again to Sutter. Pedersen shot. Great play. But this one stopped again by Jake Gottinger. You know what I your happen? That is an energizer stop. When you take it, it's turning out great. And to say about Jake Ottinger, Otter is definitely making it the same as Otter or Phenomen Otter. He's definitely one of the best goaltenders in the game. Played for Boston University during the college gates career. And after being a part of the USA hockey national team, widely considered a top prospect of the 2017 NHL entry draft. This is what happens to be the Dallas Stars picking his first round 26 overall, 26 overall draft pick. Now I was expecting that he was really doing well. Playing on his better performance, I say that playing career was been sending it up to us one of the bestest. He's professional signing his year and I think he's one of the best one to make his career on his year pick. I think he's one of the top plays of the goaltender of the night. I never seen how well he was doing, but this is, might be his time now. If he can be in the next All-Star game for 2025, this may be a great time effort. I'd love to see Iger play again. High skin with the puck. Down to a final minute in the third period. And the fans are making a thunderous applause here at American Airlines Center. Yeah, you can definitely say it. I can hear it. You can hear it. Everybody can hear it. We really love that the Stars are playing well. Instead of a second game, the third game was a was a wacky wild game. Now you can expect all the fans are enjoying it. Just how they play it, but like you've ever heard of it. Hits Price on his way down. Finding Robertson. And it's Mikhaev with the puck. Over now to Besser. Pavelski's got that puck back to get to Kins. Hintz will be able to make his finish with his final goal. Hughes with the puck steal. Last chance effort for the Vancouver Canucks. Big kick. Verona over to Buster. Stop by Ottinger. And what a night this been. Dallas Stars up again to broken the tie series. Now it's a 2-1 Dallas lead. They're all everywhere. Look at this fan place. Everybody's been doing it, and this is why this is a packed people for the playoff mode. And now the Stars win stay for a day all the night. An excellent comeback effort for Jake Ottinger. After a second game loss, he made it clean. Definitely when you play for Jake Ottinger, that's when Otter makes a win. Take it all, what you got.
We all salute fans. We can appreciate to everyone who has been coming with us, and this has been a packful night. Well, along with me, with Sonic Beast, hope you're having fun with us. With me, with me, phone, and Terry Cruz, and a special guest of Zoch No School. And with that one, with Boomer, thanks for joining us. Take care, everybody. All right, thank you so much. Three stars are on. Miro Heiskanen with the goal and assist. Big 12 minutes in the game with a big impact pouch. Then second star goes to Joe Root Pitts. Two goals and two assists with seven minutes. Got a great going. And your first star player, Jake Ottinger. 95 saves in the game. He made his one excellent. A big stop. Better than game the previous game he had. And this is what he's been doing. With the total statistics, it was 99 over 62 Vancouver total shots. 73 hits for Dallas Stars. And it was 739 time on attack for Vancouver. Both guys made 91% passing for Vancouver and Dallas. And it was 54 face off plays for Vancouver, over 28. Two minute penalty kill was Vancouver, and eight minute penalty kill was Dallas. Only one power play goal with 707. But the short handed goal happened to be with Dallas. So I hope you all enjoyed this game, and we'll see you around for our next game in game four for double letter. Not one, but only two. Keep your eyes peeled on the other side. And the trackers, with that being said, here, this will be all the consecutive games before we head back to the NBA for the next game. In the meantime, that's enough for today. I hope everybody's having a fun night, and so do we. We hope you enjoyed this one, and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You can definitely follow him on his media, and don't forget to miss that one out. You can definitely just watch it on a playlist at the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Peace out, folks, for a while as the Western Conference Finals of the Stanley Cup on EA Sports. This is Test Tube and Lightbulb. See you next time, and so long in Dallas. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.